hello everyone in this video we will be learning about task so when the task is used it is used when some of the operation is being used again and again for example uh, there is a module called sum or there is a is a subroutine sum where you are doing addition of two number and this this subroutine is being used again and again in your digital design let's say so what you are going to do we are not going to write this code again and again whenever it is needed right so what we do at that time instead of rewriting the code again and again we instantiate or we call this subroutine it is a subroutine right so we call this subroutine whenever it is needed so this is a kind of reusability of code and do you remember one of the properties of verilog is why verilog is famous so one of the properties is reusability and if the codes are reusable means it is very very helpful for maintainability you don't need to maintain you don't need to maintain the code because if if you have written some piece of code then definitely you have to maintain those code you have to verify each and every lines of code so if that re reusability concept comes then first thing is it makes the code more cleaner because you have not written the code again and again whenever it was needed so it makes the code more cleaner and it is easy to read also reduce the development cycle because if the code is being used again and again and if you are if if you are writing the same code in your design many more times so definitely it it will consume the design cycle so to avoid this this one and to reduce the design development cycle what we do we use the re reusable code and it is possible by this task <coughs> and it is very very helpful in test bench simulation means during that uh, functionality check of your design the task is used and it is very very helpful so this is uh, this is about task why it is used and where it, where it is used okay it is a very very helpful construct in verilog so what are the features of task see task can have any number of inputs and outputs means task can have inputs like module for example in module when you write any module then we have input then we have output right so inside the task also we have inputs we have outputs and we can have any number of inputs and outputs i will give you, i will give you an example okay then the order of inputs or outputs matters when the task is called and where so the way the task uh, sorry uh, inputs and outputs have been written inside the task it matters when we are calling the task then the task may contain time delay means it may contain this hash delay number then positive edge negative edge so the task contain delay statements and it is and that is one of the reason why it is helpful for test bench simulation okay it contains delay that's why it is very helpful for test bench okay then from the task you can call other task or function so if there is a task let's say uh, you have a task then inside this task in from inside this task you can call another task or you can call another function also task can drive global variables external to the task okay i will give example for this one okay what is global variable then variable declared inside task so whatever variables are declared inside that task those variables are called local task and if a variable is outside of the task then it is called global variables and if some variable is not declared inside the task means if a variable is not local to that task then that vari variable cannot be used outside of task okay variable declared inside task are called local task and the variable that is uh, and cannot be used outside of, means the local variable cannot be used outside of task these are some of the features or you can say the properties of the task that you have to remember okay 
टास्क आर कॉल्ड विथ स्टेटमेंट्स एंड नॉट इन ए एक्सप्रेशन लाइक फंक्शन आई विल गिव आई विल गिव यू एग्जाम्पल फॉर दिस वन ओके एंड आई आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस लाइन देन देन टास्क कैन यूज ब्लॉकिंग एंड नॉन ब्लॉकिंग असाइनमेंट सो इफ देर इज अ टास्क लेट्स ए टास्क एंड टेस्ट सो इन साइड वॉट एवर स्टेटमेंट्स यू राइट हेयर यू कैन इंक्लूड इट इंक्लूड्स बोथ ब्लॉकिंग एंड नॉन ब्लॉकिंग स्टेटमेंट्स मीन सॉरी असाइनमेंट्स देन टास्क में हैव जीरो और मेनी आर्गूमेंट्स एंड डजेंट रिटर्न एनी वैल्यू दिस इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट ओके इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग टू रिमेंबर दैट इट डजेंट रिटर्न एनी वैल्यू फंक्शन रिटर्न वैल्यू ओके फंक्शन रिटर्न ए वैल्यू बट टास्क डजेंट रिटर्न एनी वैल्यू टास्क में हैव जीरो और मेनी आर्गूमेंट्स आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस वन ओके विथ एग्जाम्पल्स देन टास्क कैन बी बिकॉज टास्क इज ए ब्लॉक राइट टास्क टास्क इज ए ब्लॉक सो टास्क कैन बी डिजेबल यूजिंग डिजेबल की वर्ड डू यू रिमेंबर दिस डिजेबल की वर्ड इन वन ऑफ माई प्रीवियस लेसन दैट इज फॉर्क जॉइन एंड बिगिन एंड एंड वी वेर वी यूजिंग दिस नेम्ड ब्लॉक नेम्ड ब्लॉक एंड देन वी टर्मिनेट ए ब्लॉक यूजिंग दिस डिजेबल की वर्ड सो ए ब्लॉक सॉरी ए टास्क कैन ऑल्सो बी टर्मिनेटेड और डिजेबल बाई यूजिंग दिस डिजेबल की वर्ड ओके then this is the syntax task <coughs> task then task name this one is user defined okay as per your wish you can give your give this name then this is system defined then input it includes input it includes output range you can declare parameter you can declare integer you can declare inside task then there can be any number of statements then it includes global variables then you can call a task or you can call a function from this task okay like this a task one function so these are function calling okay then end task so the task is ended by this uh, keyword end task that you have to remember okay so this is a example so this is a module module test a b x y input output range so this is a task see task has been declared here okay task convert the name of the task is convert so it is task then we have declared port input this is a input port and see do you remember this one this line variable declared inside task are called local task and outside variables are called global 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 variable okay sorry local variable and global variable so inside this task we have the variable a in and out so these are local variable so a in and out is local variable and what is global variable for this task this one this because this is outside of outside of this task a b x y okay these are global variables and these are local variables and these local variables a in and a out see this one and the local variables cannot be used outside of task so these variables uh a in out because as these are local variables we cannot access these variables outside of task whatever operation we want to do with these variables a in and out it has to be inside this task boundary okay we cannot access this one outside outside this task boundary then begin begin then out equal to a in plus 50 so we are adding this 50 to this a in variable then see inside task we can call another task so i am calling here another another task the ta the task name is negate okay then this is a argument for this one this a in you remember this one what it is written here see this one task may have zero or many arguments but doesn't return any value so task may have zero or many arguments so this is the argument for this task this a in is the argument for this task negate okay and where is that negate so we are calling a task here negate see this is a negate task okay task negate so inside we have in out d d equal to negation of d and task so we are calling this task from this task convert so task negate we are calling from this task convert and we have single argument here we have here one argument we can have zero argument also we can have zero argument we can have one argument also okay 
then x equal to 1 by 1 if i write x equal to 1 by 1 then it is global to task because the task this x variable is not from this task right this variable is from this module this outside of task so this is a global task global to this variable is global to the task then begin and then end task this is the end of the task so this is a task this is a calling of another another task this negate a in then always at the rate a this is a procedural block okay inside the procedural block we can call a task see always at the rate a then begin convert ax so this is the arguments see here we had one argument now we have two arguments so this is convert convert this this is this task okay we are calling this task task convert uh, from this procedural block okay so you have to remember that from the procedural block also we can call a task and it 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 has taken two variables a and x so a and x are arguments and see do you remember see you remember this one this line that the order of inputs or outputs matters when task is called okay the order of inputs and output matters means see here first one you have declared a in is the input right a in is the input the second one is output out inside the task convert so if i write like this if i'm if i call this task convert a and s a and x so this one goes to a in this one goes to input and this one goes to output because i have i have declared first input then the output so a will be it will it will be reference to a in so it will be reference to a in that is my input and x will be reference to my output out okay so that's why it 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 matters okay that's why the order of inputs and outputs matters when task is called so here the first one will be input and the second one will be output then end then end module then another all there another procedural block is there always at the rate b so if there is b changes begin con begin the end then convert see this is also a task the same task i am calling here here inside this procedural block i have the argument what it is written here the task may have zero or many arguments okay and these are the arguments already i explained so inside this task this negate i have only one argument here i have two argument a and x here i do not have any argument zero argument so task can have zero argument it can have one argument it can have two arguments okay so here there is no argument there is no parenthesis okay i am calling a i am calling this convert task but i have not included any arguments it can it it is having zero arguments okay so this is convert then colon then end okay sorry semicolon so this is this is how the task uh, task calling so i explained everything whatever is written all these features whatever points are written here the inputs outputs then how to call then the only thing i have not uh, included here is the delay but if you are writing a test bench then uh, delay is accepted means for example here i can write here i can write hash 5 one uh, x one b one i can write here so it is a delay it includes delay also it it includes delay then inside task i can have this always block i can include that uh, positive edge of clock okay so this is all about task so here there is a three different way we call task inside a task we are calling a task with one argument then inside a procedural block we are calling a task and having two argument then inside another procedural block we are calling a task having zero arguments okay so three way we we have called task that is so, so this task is a subroutine okay see this is how uh, reusability code code happens here because we have written this task only once but we have we are calling this task uh, three times here here sorry uh, two times here and here two times so it it clearly says that we are using this task module or sorry we are using this task of routine we can use many more times as per your wish okay whenever it is uh, required so this is how the task works and calling the task calling then how the local variables what are the global variables how to call it task then how the delays are included how the uh, global variables are accessed okay so 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू लाइक इट प्लीज़ डू लाइक कॉमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल थैंक यू सो मच